Morning, hockey fans. Chris Terrell here with RollerPros.com. We're my Jaeger Bombs DFS NHL shots of the night for Thursday, December 19th. We've got a big slate tonight. We've got 10 games on the ice. We've only got out of those 10 games, there's only two right now that are sitting with a 6.5 total. It's Nashville at Ottawa. And then we've got Chicago playing on a back-to-back uh, going into Winnipeg to play the Jets there as well. There are two teams on a back-to-back. Chicago's on a back-to-back. Colorado was on a back-to-back as well as a 3-4. and four. So I want to pay attention to that as well. But there are a lot of games with 5.5 totals tonight, which is pretty rare for a 10-game slate, seeing that many 5.5 totals. Should give us some good goalie options. With that, let's just jump right in, look at a couple core plays at each position for me tonight. And this will be mostly cash game plays. I'm going with Rask, looking like it's gonna. he's going to start uh, over Halak tonight. He has struggled a little bit lately, so I'm going to go just a touch cheaper and go with these couple goalies and start with Andrew Vasilevsky. He, he let up three, um, saved 25 or 28 shots in a win versus Ottawa. That was on Tuesday. Tonight he faces Dallas. He's a minus 174 home favorite. He has been a little bit better um, on home ice. The team has. Um, his save percentage has been about uh, 12 points lower um, at home versus the road. But it looks like he's starting to get things back together a little bit. Uh, Tampa pulling things together. They are a minus 174 favorite. The thing with Dallas here is they've struggled offensively lately. They have uh, only won four of their last 10 games while scoring just 19 goals. So 1.9 goals per game in their last 10. And and they're right up there with about 30 shots per game. So it looks like we're going to get some good shot volume. We're going to get a uh, possibility of 30 to 35 saves from Vasilevsky. He's going to be one of my top guys. And then, of course, I'm going to be going with uh, Darcy Kemper here as well. Arizona is at home. They've been a very good uh, number one overall defensive team so far. He's coming off of a 26-save win uh, on the road in San Jose. He's now going to be at home. He's been incredible at home this season. The record maybe doesn't show at 6-5-1, and one, but he's got a 9-37 save percentage and two shutouts on home ice. So he's been very huge there. And he faces a Minnesota team that struggles big time on the road. You look at their splits on uh, offense versus on the road versus at home, and they're definitely a lot worse team on the road. So those are going to be the two goalies that I'm going to go with. It's very close. They're very close in price. Same price on FanDuel, only $100 difference on DraftKings. Right now, I'm leaning Kemper a little bit over Vasilevsky just because he's been a little bit better. He's got the better form. He's also got the little bit better matchup as well. But I think we can get Vasilevsky at a very low ownership tonight with the Bruins goalies, uh, whichever one gets the start being popular there as well. So jumping into the center position, uh, this is going to be a payoff position for me tonight. Not a lot of value unless you want to go with Boone Jenner again. I'll talk about him here in a little bit when I get to the wingers. But to start off, the two that I'm looking at specifically are Jack Eichel and Mark Shifley. When it comes to Eichel, he extended his point streak to 17 games the other day. Um, that was on Tuesday. Picked up two, uh, two points. He's got multiple points in four of his last five games. And during that 17-game stretch, he's got 31 total points while averaging 3.9 shots per game. So, I mean, he hits on every single level. He's averaging over four combined shots blocks on the season. So he gives you that high floor, gives you that upside. And what I like the most is his price has dipped back down on DraftKings below 8K, which just seems crazy given um, everything we just went over there with the shot volume and the amazing upside. He faces Philly, who has been really good at home. But I just can't deny that upside with that drop in price there on DraftKings tonight um, can definitely go a different route on FanDuel if you choose, uh, just because the price is up there 8900 And then Mark Shifley, he's going to be a lock for me. Um, pretty much in all my only playing about, uh, I play one cash lineup per night, and then I use that in GPP, and then I will go in a three max entry um, on DraftKings there as well, and trying or and FanDuel and try and get two more lineups uh, just kind of. Go off my core a little bit uh, for some GPP uh, can try in there, just some pivots. But Mark Shifley is going to be a lock for me in all formats. He has been red hot lately. Um, the Jets have played a lot better. They've actually been a little bit better on the road in terms of scoring, but lately it has been really good. Uh, he's got 14 points in his last 10 games, 35 shots on goal. He's not always been known to be a shot volume guy, so seeing that uptick in shot volume is really nice coming off six shots in his last game versus Carolina. Um, they did get beaten that game 6-3, but he did score, and he's got goals now in three, six of his last seven games. So he, he's been really well. We're going to ride that train, especially in the low to mid 7K range on both sites tonight in a matchup versus Chicago um, and their lower-end defense, and they're playing on a back-to-back. 
as well. So when you go to the wing position, this is where we're going to get some value. Uh, I'm going to go right down to the mid-range. Travis Konechny made his return after concussion. He missed three games. Returned to form, uh, picked up an assist. I like the price here. He doesn't give you a lot of shot volume, which we're looking for, as you can see here. 8.1 shots per 60, 12.9 Corsi per 60. That's not exactly what we're looking for in a cash game play. It's more the opportunity plus matchup tonight. He's under 6K on DraftKings, just over 6K on FanDuel. He's skating top line, top power play unit, um, and the Flyers get a good home matchup versus the Sabres here. I think they can put up three or four goals, and I think he's going to be involved in that. He's got multi-point upside here, and I think we can probably get two to three shots from him tonight as well. So I definitely like that price on both sides. And then going to Columbus, um, one of my top, Two-man stacks on Tuesday was Boone Jenner and Oliver Bjorkstrand, who were moved up and skating together on the top line, top power play unit. Going to go back that route again. Tonight I'm going to talk about uh, Bjorkstrand just because he gives you the shot volume that we're looking for in terms of cash game in that mid to low 5K uh, price range. Only six points in his last 10 games. Columbus's offense has been very up and down this season, so we're not expecting a ton of upside from Columbus players. But for cash games, it makes a lot of sense. He's got a whopping 48 shots in his last 10 games. Gives him a really high floor. He's averaging over 13 DraftKings points per game, um, over 15 FanDuel points per game in those last 10. So he's quite a bit uptick there. And he faces a Kings team. Has been a little bit better as of late, but they still rank outside uh, the top 20 in terms of defense on the season and also a little bit worse on the road there as well. And then right back to one of my favorite players, uh, Joel Armia. His price actually came down on DraftKings. He didn't get any shots off. You know, we're usually looking at him. Talked about his shot volume during the season. 18.6 shot attempts per 60 for that price range. Anything under 5K and you're getting over 17 uh, shot attempts slash Corsi per 60, uh, we definitely need to pay attention. He's also right up there in scoring chances as well. So that tells me he's got high floor, high upside, and he's under 5K on both sites. Just underpriced for, for what he's offering. Uh, eight points in his last 10 games, 44 shots on goal. He's even got eight blocks, so just under a block per game there as well, adding to that. So it's a little bit tougher matchup versus Calgary, but like I said, he's putting up very similar statistics um, in terms of floor as his teammate Brennan Gallagher, who's up there in the 7K range. Um, so I feel we need to take advantage of that when building cash game lineups. Moving over to defense, I've got a few more here for you tonight. i got three. Uh, Ryan Ellis is one. Any of the, the Nashville's loaded in terms of defense. Roman Yossi is always an elite play. But if you're looking for, um, you know, a little bit of savings here, Ryan Ellis makes a lot of sense. Ottawa's been better at home, uh, so I definitely like taking that savings. Not as much risk as there is with Yossi, because Ottawa's defense has been a lot better at home, uh, like we've been talking about. So he's 5,100 on both sides. Ellis is. Seven points in his last 10. Uh, 29 shots, 19 blocks. He's over 11 points per game. Um, on both sites right now. Uh, so as in, in terms of points per dollar, he's going to be my top defenseman. He gives you a high floor, gives you that upside there as well. I think Nashville, even if Ottawa can hold them down a bit, I think they can get uh, two to three goals. I think Ellis can be involved, and then he's very involved uh, in terms of the offense for the Nashville, as is Ekholm and uh, Yossi there as well. Another underpriced Montreal player, Ben Chirot. We've talked about him all season. Low 4K range on both sites. Again, Cash only plays, not unless you really need that savings and you love your GPP stacks that you got going because he doesn't give you a, a lot of upside. He's not out there on the power play. Same with Connor Murphy, who we'll talk about next, but they're both getting over 20 minutes. Sherratt sitting around that 23 and a half minutes per game, about 3.9 blocks and shots per game. Um, over his last 10, he's been even better 28 shots, 27 blocks. Um, so we got uh, pretty good production there from him, even though he's only got one point. In those last 10 games, he's averaging over 10 DraftKings, 10 FanDuel points per game, which is just amazing uh, floor that we can get at that price. And if you want to go a little bit cheaper in the mid-3K range, Connor Murphy stands out. Talked about him a little bit in chat um, yesterday, him and Ole Mata. Murphy ended up being the play there, a little bit more expensive. But Murphy's got five points his last 10, but we're not really, again, we're not looking for upside from him. This is more of a cash play. Um also a lot cheaper, so you compare Sherratt and Murphy together, you can really load up on your stacks. Um, his last 10 games, he's got 19 shots, 29 blocks, 28 blocks, sorry. So really high floor from him as well. It makes a lot of sense. So that covers my core plays, the Eger bomb shots of the night. Uh, our top targets will be updated a little bit later in the day and posted in chat as well. 
will also be in there all day um, as I'm auditing lines, talking about line combinations for today, power play line combinations, that sort of thing. So if you're not a member of Rotor Pros yet, get over to rotorpros.com, get your free trial, get in, see what we're all about. We've got uh, NBA free rolls coming up tomorrow. We've got uh, free rolls for Sunday NFL coming up where you can, you know, win subscriptions um, and earn points to win even more prizes. So we've got a lot of that going on in chat as well. So join us. Pretty sure you're going to like what you see. Let's go out there tonight, get some green screens. Good luck, everyone.